Hey everybody, EMP5 Reviews, here today with episode 3 of my Medal of Honor stories about 2nd Lieutenant John Gregory Bishop Adams, who received the Medal of Honor for his actions during the Civil War. So, a little bit about him. He was born October 6th, 1841 in Groveland, Massachusetts. When the Civil War broke out, he enlisted as a private into the 19th Massachusetts Infantry Regiment. When the 19th Infantry Regiment departed the state on March 1st, 1861, Adams was a corporal in Company A. He served with the 19th in the Peninsula Campaign and at the Battle of Antietam. During these seven days fighting on the peninsula, he was conspicuous for his bravery, and at its close, his gallantry had won him a Battlefield Second Lieutenant's Commission. The actions that awarded him the Medal of Honor. While serving as a Second Lieutenant in Company I, he was one of 18 Union soldiers who received the Medal of Honor for Valor at the Battle of Fredericksburg, which was fought between December 11th and 15th of 1862. Adams received his reward or award for recovering the regimental and national colors as a corporal and a lieutenant carrying them fell mortally wounded. With a flag in each of his hands, he advanced and the regiment was reformed around him. He was one of seven soldiers from the 19th Regiment who received the Medal of Honor during the Civil War. His Medal of Honor citation states, <clears throat> The President of the United States of America, in the name of Congress, takes pleasure in presenting the Medal of Honor to Second Lieutenant John Gregory Bishop Adams, United States Army, for extraordinary, extraordinary heroism on 13 December 1862, while serving with Company I, 19th Massachusetts Infantry, in action at Fredericksburg, Virginia. Second Lieutenant Adams seized the two colors from the hands of a corporal and a lieutenant as they fell mortally wounded, and with a color in each hand, advanced across the field to a point where the regiment was reformed on those colors. Now, Adams continued to serve following his award, the award, awarding of the Medal of Honor. He later was fighting in the Battle of Chancellorsville and the Battle of Gettysburg, where he was severely wounded on July 2nd, 1863. In this battle, Adams was the ranking first lieutenant in his regiment and took command of Company I. After Gettysburg, he was promoted to captain. His convalescence from his injuries were relatively brief, and he was able to return and fight at both at, also at the Battle of the Wilderness, the Battle of Spotsylvania Courthouse, and the Battle of Cold Harbor. Unfortunately, he and his entire regiment were captured near Cold Harbor on June 22, 1864, and Adams was held at Libby Prison in Richmond, Virginia. He was later also imprisoned at Macon, Georgia, and Charleston, South Carolina, where he and other officers were placed on Morris Island in order to stop naval bombardment by the Union. After being moved to Columbia, he and a comrade attempted to escape but were eventually captured. He was held for a total of nine months. After the war, Adams became a foreman for 10 years at the B.F. Doken Company Shoe Factory in Lynn, Massachusetts. He left that post to become an inspector in the Boston Custom House and later served as the postmaster of Lynn and deputy warden of the state reformatory at Concord. He served as an elector for the state of Massachusetts in the 1868 presidential election, and in 1885, he was elected a sergeant of arms for the Massachusetts legislature. Adams was also a Freemason and a member of the Grand Army of the Republic, joining as the first member of his local post. He served as a delegate to the National Grand Army of the Republic Convention 12 times and served a year as department commander before being elected as commander-in-chief in 1893. At the time he was elected, he had been president of the Association of the Survivors of Rebel Prisons for, for seven years. He was also a member of the Massachusetts Commandery of the Military Order of the Loyal Legion of the United States. In 1899, he published a memoir of his war service, Reminiscences of the 19th Massachusetts Regiment. He died October 19th, 1900, and is buried in the Pine Grove Cemetery in Lynn, Massachusetts. If you like this video, please give it a like and a share, and if you are so inclined, please also subscribe to the channel. I will be continuing to publish videos of Medal of Honor winners as time goes on. Thank you. Have a good day.